Today we're going to look at generating project proposals using the Webflow CMS and some design magic. We're going to set up a proposal CMS collection, design the page, and then connect everything up ready to go. But before we do all that, let's first ask why we might put our proposals on our website rather than on a PDF or through an online proposal generator or just left as a 20 minute voicemail. Well, it's good to keep in mind that just as there is no one correct way to successfully reboot a sitcom, there's no one correct way to send a proposal. If it's for a small job, then even just replying to an email with the price of the project might be enough. But when we're talking about bigger projects with clients that we truly want to win, then putting in that extra effort at the proposal stage might be the thing that tips the scale towards you. Not to mention that it'll also help you stay fully on brand, since the URL will be of your portfolio or agency website, and you can also design the proposal with total flexibility. So with all of that aside, let's dive in and see how we can create our own proposals using the Webflow CMS. So to start, what we'll do is create a new CMS collection on our website for the proposal info. So I'm gonna go into my CMS, create a new collection, and we'll call this proposals. And for the fields, we can add anything we want. First, I'm gonna change the name. I'll just call this project name. And next I'll have client name. I'll also want client email. I'll add one in for the business name. Save that. And now we're gonna add in the different proposal sections as rich text elements. And we can use any sections that we prefer for our proposal. So the ones that I'm setting up is just an example of the sections that I like to use. But if instead of project options, you'd rather have top stock picks or recommended Minecraft seeds, then you can do those instead. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in intro, situation appraisal, but make sure it's spelled correctly. I'll add in project options. Why me? Pricing terms and availability. Also make that spot correctly. And finally, next steps. So now that I've added in all the rich text elements for the sections that I want to use, I'm going to create that collection. For now, I'm just going to add in some dummy data so I have something to work with. And with that magic done, we're going to hit create. So now let's go to our CMS page. I'm going to go down to the proposal page. We'll drop in the navigation, a div for our page wrapper, and also our footer. Now we can add in our sections. I'll quickly add a section, container inside of that add some classes onto it. And now I'll add in my elements, div, and I'll add in a heading for the title and that can grab the project name. It's a little bit fast, I'm gonna add a limit to this. A little bit less maybe about that. And I'm also gonna make the title a little bit bigger. Bigger than that, about that looks good. And I'm gonna add in some info just above the text. I'll add in a plain div block, and this is actually gonna be columns, so the info sits next to each other. Text block, this one's gonna grab the date I created it. This next one's just gonna be a divider. And we type option eight to add in that divider. And then I'll just say proposal. I'm gonna make this dot a little bit smaller just by lowering the size. Not bad, I'm gonna add a little bit more space to that. Maybe about that looks good. And so this is our Header info row, and I'll add some margin there. And another div for the divider. Maybe a little bit more margin up top. And then a grid below the divider. It's going to be proposal, hit a grid, 
We'll make that max about 600 maybe, and we only need the top two. And to speed things up, I'll just add in those text boxes that I need. This one is going to be connected, grab the right one, connected to client name. And we'll also grab the client email. Just wanna make this one bold. And now we'll style our header section a bit. And so I'm gonna give it a yellow background. Maybe even a background shape. Maybe something like that, a little bit big. Maybe about that. And then I'll just give it a little bit more top padding. It's a little bit tight there. A little bit more. And that's a pretty good header. I'll make this grid a little bit smaller. Yeah, maybe about 400, maybe a little bit bigger, 450. And I'll see how that looks on different screen sizes. That looks okay. That looks pretty good. Might just stack these on mobile. And a little bit more space. Not that much. And so now that we've done a header, we can go down and do the sections. So I will just copy and paste this for now. Get rid of that style. I'm actually gonna get rid of all of this content. And we'll add in a grid. This will be our proposal body grid. It's also gonna have just the two grid blocks. I'll make the gap a little bit bigger and I actually want the side width of content to not be too small. So I'm actually just gonna give it a fixed width. About 580 might be a good size to make sure that it's easily readable. And then on tablet, I'll just make them stack on top of each other. Give it a second row. And so on the left hand side, we're gonna have the title for each section. And then on the right hand side, we're gonna have the actual content. So I'll quickly drop in some divs. Just make those text boxes. On the right hand side, we have our rich text. And on the left hand side, we have our title h2 maybe about that and we'll add in our first title intro and then connect up this rich block and that's not looking too bad what i might just do is i'm going to line this grid to the top i'll change this class i'll just call it proposal section title and i'm going to make it sticky see how it looks with 120 And that looks about right. I'll turn off that sticky on tablet. So we don't want that anymore, just back to static. And looking at that now, I might just decrease the size of this title. It's a little bit big, maybe about that's right. And so now that we have our first section set up, I'm gonna go ahead and copy and paste this element again and then replace the rich texts. So next one, situation appraisal, might even give it a background color. And I spelt it correctly that time. And let me quickly go ahead and do the rest of the sections. So now that we've added in all our sections, our proposal page is finished and we're ready to put it live. But before we do that, we wanna make sure no one else can see it but our client. So option one is we can make it password protected and then give our client the password when we send them the link. But since I don't wanna add in extra steps for the clients, instead I'm gonna do option two, which is just to make sure search engines can't find the page. So we're gonna add in some meta information. down to my custom code and add in no index so search engines aren't looking for the page. And I'll save that. And then beyond that, we can add in some characters to the slug of the URL so that no one who isn't the client would be able to guess the URL. And now that we've done that, we can finally publish our site and preview the proposal. And now we have our proposal page fully done. Now, as you'll notice, this is nice, but it's still pretty basic. By making the proposal a page on our website, we've definitely already made it more professional, but we don't need to stop here. Since all the proposal is, is sections stacked on top of each other, we can design those sections in any way that we want. So for example, instead of having these quotes stacked on top of each other, I can remove that and instead have something like a quote slider. And so in this way, it's super flexible to design a proposal however we want. 
And so any way that we can get our point across in a more expressive and effective way, we can now build around that. But if you want somewhere basic to get started, I'll make a version of this that you can download as a Webflow clonable. So find that link in the description. So that's all for now on proposals, but let me know in the comments, how do you generate and send proposals? And if there's a reason you think building it as a CMS collection doesn't make sense for you. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.